hello happy friday hello 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 um let me just pin it in case some people don't see the title of this live hi everybody happy friday it is another week of well day of reading Hello, Mojo. Hi, Samole. Hello, 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 hello. How are you guys? Happy Friday. So, I'm sample reading a book that I'm going to be reading this May. Oh, tomorrow is the 1st of May. Okay, it's a brand new month. Um, thank you, thank you, thank you for joining me. Hello, hello, hello. Uh, please let me know if the sound is good and you can see me um, sorry I've been snacking <laughs> uh, give me a if everything is fine with the sound I'm reading from a new book undecided of what to read the sound is perfect okay great um hi impilo sound and visual is good thank you uh okay a coat of many colors is what i'm reading sorry i'm just getting distracted like Hello, 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 hello. Uh, so Fred Kumalo has got a new book out. It's a collection of short stories. I got it last week. Um, I haven't read it because I am co-reading it with a group of my friends for the second week, from the second week of May. Um, so I decided to hold off on reading it because I've had a very bad reading month of april i'm actually glad april is gone like gone gone uh i read i'm reading a f i'm in between books actually so i finished so long a letter and i i am i'm currently reading yellow means stay an anthology of love stories from africa it is actually getting launched tomorrow at Bridge Books uh, from one o'clock. I think it is one o'clock. Yes. So that's what I'm reading currently. So Yellow Means Stay. And then I'll keep on reading that until we start with this one, which is, I, I don't know how many books has Uncle Fred written, guys. He like... He is amazing. Um, if you've never read anything of his, I've only ever read um, Dancing the Death Drill. I also have The Longest March. I actually enjoy historical fiction as well. So I think I need to also make time to read The Longest March. Because I loved, loved, loved Dancing the, dance, dancing the Death Drill. Um, so I'm going to read the back of this book. And then I will, I will start reading. I don't want this live to be too long, um, so as to allow everybody to start the Friday. I mean, it's Friday. Uh, we're trying to keep this very, very short, so it'll only be about thirty minutes or less. Um, I'm gonna read the title story, uh, but uh, let me see how many stories there are in here. Two, four, six, eight, nine. So there's nine short stories. Um, hi, hi, hello. Uh, so I wanna, I wanna actually not say people's names, but I, I actually just see a username. So I'm just gonna say Imogen. Imogen two nine eight says I need to read Uncle Fred for sure. Definitely, I, I really highly recommend um, Dancing the Death Drill. It's a historical fiction. I've actually just finished um being part of a tour and a book the tour afrocentric april book the tour 
if you check that hashtag, I did actually feature um, Dance in the Death Drill under historical fiction. Um, yeah, it was a great tour this whole month of April. Today is the 30th day and I am actually so glad I was part of that um, uh, tour. It exposed me to so many books, that hashtag alone. Um, I don't know if anyone else can just type it out for me. Afrocentric, Afrocentric April books, the tour. Um, and that hashtag is going to live beyond us. Like there's so many gems, African gems in there. So do actually check that out. Um, yeah. And for those who just joined, thank you so much. Um, I'm going to be reading from this gorgeous, gorgeous cover book. Well, the cover is actually good. Great. Uh, I think Uncle Fred's son actually is responsible for this artwork. Yeah. Hello, hello, hello. Hello, Lita. Hi, Marina. Hello, 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 hello. Welcome, welcome. I'm going to be reading from Uncle Fred's, um, I just call him Uncle Fred, guys. It's Fred Kumalo's A Coat of Many Colors. It's new. I just got it this past week. I'm going to be co-reading it in two weeks' time with a bunch of friends of mine. If you want to join, you can join. It's always good to have, like, a bigger circle. Um, but yeah, gorgeous cover, All right? Uh, in A Coat of Many Colors, award-winning author Fred Kumalo presents a patchwork of various vibrant stories befitting the collection's title. A boy plays detective, investigating the case of a goat and a coat. A woman takes revenge. An inklabi bites off more than he can chew. Teenage and enmity rears its head at a prestigious school for girls a man is cursed with an ever-growing sexual appetite yeah trust uncle fred <laughs> and more thoughtful stories with an entertaining zing <laughs> i don't know if you guys have actually read um another one of his it's here somewhere uh what is the title Samula, please help me out. It's here somewhere. I know it's here. But anyway. But yeah. <laughs> I'm going to be reading A Coat of Many Colors. Um, let me see if Uncle Fred's bio is up in here. Okay, let me read Uncle Fred's um, bio. Fred Kumalo is the award-winning author of numerous fiction and non-fiction books. His, his short story collection, Talk of the Town. Yeah, that's the book I'm, re I'm looking for. Thank you, Samule. <laughs> Talk of the Town won the 2020 Nadine Godimer Short Story Award at the South African Literary Awards at the SLAs. His novel, Dancing the Death Drill, won a Humanities and Social Sciences Award in 2019. He has also been shortlisted for the Commonwealth Short Story Prize twice. Kumalo holds an MA in Creative Writing from Wits University and is also a Nieman Fellow, Harvard University, um, from year 2011 to 2012, he is currently a PhD candidate in creative writing at the University of Pretoria and he lives in Johannesburg. He was recently appointed adjunct professor of literature at the University of South Africa. So, and like the book, the books, guys, 2019, 20, was it 2019, 2018, 2019, 2020, there were tons of books. Okay, maybe not tons, but like three, four in one year. So, hey, he's busy. Uncle Fred is busy. Okay. A coat of many colors. In the comments, please, guys, tell me what you guys are currently reading. What are you looking forward to reading for May? Was it a very good reading month for you? Like, my reading month, yeah. I actually only listened to Binti by Nyedi Okafor uh, on Libby app. Uh, the audiobook I I listened to uh, Binti and then I sampled a few books but I couldn't decide and then I read um, So Long a Letter at the beginning of April um, because it was very quick uh, I just couldn't join the book discussion with Harare Book Club because um, it was the April uh, book for the month so it was last week Saturday I think and I couldn't join um, but yeah 
Thank you, thank you, Samule. Let me see if there are any comments. Hello, Swiri. Hi, Zama. <laughs> okay. Uh, no comments. Hi, Lachale. Hello, 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 hello. Hi, everybody. Um, so, Lita uh, Hermanus, the author of The Eyes of the Naked, um, says he is reading Olive Shriner's The Story of an African Farm. I actually need that book because we were meant to read it in high school and then I don't know what happened or one of my friends, my good friends was reading it at their high school and I wasn't reading it and I was very like intrigued. Um, African farm, story of an African farm. Okay, cool. What are you guys reading? Thank you. Let me know in the comments. Um, please let me know when the sound, if the sound goes like, cause the clouds, you never know. And then I'll keep looking. Okay. A coat of many colors. Look, grandpa's goat has arrived. Vusi cries at the top of his voice. His cousins and newfound friends pause their game of marbles to look at the truck that's just stopped outside the gate. Indeed, there is a goat standing at the back of the vehicle. Screeching in excitement, the children abandon their game. Their tiny bare feet patter on the dusty ground as they run out the gate. Once they get to the truck, they mill around it and cry out, Hello, goat! Welcome, goat! They make faces at the goat. They reach out with their hands, trying to touch it. But when it comes their way, they recoil, screaming in gleeful horror. <laughs> Even a dog has joined them. It is barking excitedly at this unusual sight. Vusi has seen dogs and cats before in the township, but not a goat. This dog certainly has never seen a goat before, and the other children don't seem to have seen one either. Vusi has only ever seen a goat on TV and in picture books. Like Vusi, the children and the dog are from the suburbs. They have made their they rare foray into the township for the traditional ceremony that is going to take place at this household. I'm laughing a little bit because... <laughs> Banavadi suburbs, the only road north. So Jimmy Isaac Mott is saying that he's currently reading the only road north. Um, who's the author? What is it about? Vusi, as the oldest among the children, a fool ten years old, is bossing them around. Hey, don't touch the truck. Don't let the goat sneeze in your face. Didn't I just tell you about coronavirus? Ah, Uncle Fred. I'm afraid to current day, you know, as if to support what Vosi has just said. The men who get out of the truck are wearing masks and latex gloves. They move to the back of the truck so they can offload the animal. With each yelp from the dog, the goat jumps and there is a rope around its neck. The rope in turn is tied to one of the, the hooks built into the body of the truck. Adjusting his mask, one of the boys asks, So, what's the plan, Vusi? Is your grandpa going to be keeping a goat as a pet now? No, silly, says Vusi. You can't keep a goat as a pet. My grandpa is going to slaughter it so he can eat meat. The other children look at Vusi. What's slaughter? They ask. It's like, eh, Vusi says, scratching his head. What do you do to the animal so you can eat its meat? He's not entirely sure about this himself, but that's what he's been able to gather from his mother. If you don't want to buy meat from the shop or from the butchery, you slaughter an animal so that the animal can provide you with meat. Vosi wonders how grown-ups would get the meat out of this hairy animal with those horns and those ugly feet. He is not sure, but he'll find out soon enough. He's, grow he's going to watch the adults doing the slaughtering thing, whatever it is. <laughs> Guys, like, I like how Uncle Fred is capturing the, the, the younger, my 2000, because my 2000, they really are like my 2000. 
After all, didn't he and his mother travel all the way from the big city of Johannesburg to his grandpa's house in the small township of Mpumalanga to be part of a ceremony that will involve the slaughter of a goat? Eight-year-old Tandeka is in tears now. They're going to kill this beautiful goat? No, says Vusi, kicking a stone with his bare foot, only to realize how stupid it is to kick a big stone with your unprotected foot. The pain stings, but he pretends it is no big deal. Instead, he squats on the ground, picks up a stick, and draws a silly diagram in the soil saying, slaughtering is not like, um, the animal just lies down and you get meat from it. You are not making sense, says the snot-nosed boy, Temba. You see, says Vusi in an angry voice, that's why I don't like hanging out with you kids. You like, you like meat. I know all of you love meat. You love those burgers in the morning. You like chicken nuggets. You like your pork sausage. Where do you think the meat comes from? <laughs> my mother, my mother gets it from the fridge. Tandika cries out triumphantly. Yeah, but before it gets in your mother's fridge, where does it come from? Vusi juts his chin forwards. Temba says, it comes from a big fridge at the store in town. No, says Sibusiso, giggling at Temba's contribution. They make the meat at a big factory out there on the farms. What are farms? Guys, I just realized that... <laughs> Please forgive me. <laughs> hold on. Please hold on. I'm coming. horror it's raining <laughs> and there's laundry <laughs> on the line guys yo <laughs> okay i'm back but i like the fact that these kids are so innocent and these are questions that like 10 year olds and 11 year olds argue about about home and they they live here in the city in the city i mean there's no dust in the in the and there's no dust in the burbs you know um okay so Puleng says hi Puleng so Puleng says hi um I just finished reading Transcendent Kingdom by Ya Gyasi hey and yeah is actually Transcendent Kingdom is nominated for the Women's Prize mm -hmm. how was it Puleng okay what are farms have you seen one Temba asks Sibusiso considers this no no one our age has seen a farm, but my father comes from a farm. He has told us about it, scratching his head. He continues, you see, farms are those far away places where there are no proper roads and no TVs and no electricity. So at those farms, they have these big factories called Abaton or Abator or something like that. That's where the meat is made at these abattoir places after they've made the meat there at those factory abaton places they put the meat in big bags then they take the big bags of meat on tractors and trucks and stuff all the way to the supermarkets and our parents then buy the meat from these supermarkets after this the boy looks expectantly at Vosi, the superior being and judge of this contest of ideas. Vosi throws his hands in the air. You're all so ignorant. You make me want to cry. One of the men, one of the men who came in the truck unties the goat from the back of the vehicle. He is a big man. He grabs the goat by one leg and one horn, lifting it onto his shoulders. He takes the goat all the way to the back of the yard. There he ties it to a tree. Vosi's grandpa, has come out to supervise the offloading of the goat. Vusi goes to this to his side. Grandpa, are you going to slaughter the goat now? No, my boy. Only after dark. May I come join you for the slaughter? 
I want to see how it's done. <laughs> They're so inquisitive. <laughs> no, no, the old man says quickly. You're too young to watch. But grandpa, I'm a big boy. I play rugby at school. I'm in the swimming team and I'm the school's detective. Detective? Yes, I solve mysteries. I find things that have been lost. So you're going to be a real detective like your mother when you grow up? The old man is smiling, ruffling Wussy's hair. Grandpa, I've been trying to tell them, says Wussy, pointing at the other kids, that in order to eat meat, we must slaughter animals. Who told you that? My mother and I don't have secrets. Oh, my mother and I don't have secrets. So have you seen an animal being slaughtered? His grandpa is frowning. No, grandpa, I have not. But today, I'm going to see it done. I'm going to be at your side when you do the slaughtering. He pauses. But grandpa, shouldn't you be washing the goat in sanitizer <laughs> to prevent it from giving us coronavirus in case it has the disease? That disease is not for goats, says the old man in a firm voice. In fact, it's only for rich people. Charity, Vusi's mother, comes out of the house. I heard you, father. Careful what you say to the children. They must take this corona thing seriously because it is serious. <laughs> Uncle Fred. Vusi's grandpa's eyes crinkle as he grins behind his mask. So you're going to let me watch the slaughter? Asks Vusi. Busy asks, no. The old man heads the children inside the house. He says to Charity, keep the children indoors while we proceed with the work at hand. Busy knows what the work at hand is. Unlike the other kids, he's not stupid. And he is going to prove to his mother, his grandpa and everybody else that he is not stupid. He's going to sneak out of the house and watch the adults as they slaughter the goat under the tree. He is determined to do that. Vosi's mother seats the children in front of the TV. She places in front of them three huge bowls. One contains tomato fritos, another marshmallows, and the last one is filled with peanuts and raisins. Each child has a tall glass of cream soda with a scoop of ice cream floating in it. Yum. Vusi is about to attack the food when his mother stops him. First, you must go wash your hands. In the bathroom, she supervises them as they wash their hands the way she taught them. This coronavirus spreads its germs very quickly. You have to wash your hands every time you change from one activity to the next. The eight-year-old girl says, But my parents say this crown very rum thing is a joke <laughs> is a joke <gasps> it is a serious disease Vosi cries out authoritatively don't pick your nose don't touch your face the children go back to the lounge to eat their snacks later charity's cousin comes in her car to fetch the children late that night as Vosi is lying in his bed waiting for the perfect moment to sneak out and watch the slaughtering. He is startled by a horrid noise from outside. It sounds like the goat. It's not a happy sound. He sits up in bed, but, is too, but it, it, it is too dark in the room. Scarily dark. Shakily, he swings his legs off the bed. If he wants to find out how slaughtering works, he'll have to go look now. The noise intensifies and he quickly pulls his legs back onto the bed. He hides himself under the covers. School detective or not, this is one mystery he is no longer eager to solve. The bleating goes on for a while. Trembling, he plugs his ears with his thumbs. Then all is silent. <laughs> that is number one. <laughs> That's like the opening, guys. I've given you a teaser. You must go find out. Go buy the book and go find out what happens to the poor goat. I love, I'm going to love, like, guys, I love Uncle Fred's writing. Okay, so and the story ends at page 28 and I'm on 13. Um, that was today's reading of A Coat of Many Colors. So, obviously, 
A boy plays detective investigating the case of a goat and a coat. A woman takes revenge. An intlabi bites off more than he can chew. Teenage enmity rears its head at a prestigious school for girls. A man is cursed with an ever-growing sexual appetite. And more thoughtful stories with an entertaining zing. I agree, there is a zing already in the in the first story okay google says i just finished reading the wind in my hair by masir alin alin jad Ooh. wind in my hair okay hey sam hello sanitize the goat nela imagine they, like these kids that sanitized goat <laughs> the goat must be sanitized or else it will spread the corona i think that dr detective junior is scared of course i mean it's dark it's it's like you know how goats scream you <laughs> uh, uh, um wussy is my personal person right like i like wussy so this is what we're going to be reading for may the second week of may um i'm actually looking quite looking forward to it because i have never um co-read short stories with a group of people so the book is available at all bookstores i know um book circle capital should have stock in melville uh exclusive books uh what else uh, I know also independent um, booksellers like Trolli. Um Trolli also has. I'll actually tag Trolli on the after this live. I will tag this Trolli. Um Yeah, I agree. Uncle Fred always writes so well. Like he, there's a zing. You know, like I like the description at the back. There's a zing. I love this cover. Quilla Books did the things. Did the things with this did the things right i love it a coat of many colors short stories so do get that it's very very short actually because it's got 205 pages and um yeah i'm already looking forward to it that's the one book that i'm committing to reading this month <laughs> because my reading has been oh my sound is gone um okay i think that's my cue to leave guys let me just type this hello oh is it back okay yeah i think i was just about to type that that's my cue to leave um i guess it's the rain that is doing this and ruining my laundry but yeah uh oh you can hear me okay all right guys this is one book i'm i'm committing to reading and i might also read what is it's may i'm not sure but yeah this is what i'm currently reading um and i did say it is being launched hello uh we just finished reading um short story uh, a coat of many colors by um fred kumalo this live will be saved on my youtube channel as well as on igtv uh i'm still a bit behind with 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 uploading some of the videos that i've done already on youtube but yeah this may i am definitely coming back to youtube uh i finished the girl with a louding vo oh yes i'm in between books as well yeah i'm in between books and this is also short stories so i'm really loving it and remy is doing the things in here with only stars know the meaning of space it's the first story on on this anthology and ah ah my goodness like remy yeah uh, Nella, I've already read We Need New Names by No Violet Bulawayo. I read it, you know, let me, if, perhaps just for, um, everybody else that's, that's joined, 
but um last year during the lockdown i used to do the live readings every day at five o'clock and then i moved it um later on in the year i moved it i did it for like nine months or up until september not my nine months but yeah um i read every day and i read all the i literally read sampled all the books so some of the episodes are actually on igtv i've saved them under a series called adult book reading because there are um sessions where i was where my son who is 10 who's 11 this year who used to read as well um so i i have read there's a poem in that anthology that left me all teary oh don't say that Komozo, don't say that okay anyway yeah i have read anella i have read um thanks to the book circle capital you met no violet yes isn't it amazing how the the author like it's it's so nice that authors are very easily accessible um like guys it's it's awesome but yeah uh so I read what Khumusu said and Lita says, oh, that's my next one. Thanks for the, oh yeah, I read that one as well. Nella says, I will check it out. So there is a whole bunch of videos, I think over 50 videos on IGTV and on YouTube um, because I, I ended up saving all the, the videos from uh, Instagram because I just wanted to archive all the, the live readings. So I do load them onto um youtube as well as an as a form of archiving all the readings that i've been doing so whenever you feel like you are stuck with you not knowing what you want to read i also read from online literary magazines and journals um and i just actually started reading from this journal new journal as well it's 70 rand at um book circle capital in melville 27 boxes um, it's also available at CNA. It's a there's a lot of things. I see the Zulu in here as well. There's poetry, there's essays, there is short stories. Um, I know there's a, a young oh uh, Stacy Fru also the youngest contributor in this um, um journal as well is featured in here. Her short story is in here. Gloria Bossman. Um, if you didn't know that Gloria Bosman writes, yeah, and Uncle Fred is in here as well because of um, this book. Sorry, my bad. This, and yeah, he is the cover star for the inaugural Imbiza, Imbiza, Imbiza. Yeah, pots. So it is a melting pot of beautiful stories in here. So do check that out. I think it's selling for 80 rands at CNA, but it's 70 rand at, um, okay. My battery's flat. I need to go guys. This is it. Um, I wanted to show you how good uncle Fred looks like the quality of this. I actually want to read it. Look, that is uncle Fred's, um, is it double pager? It's not even double pager. Yeah, no, it's like, four pages of you know um my wife and kids thought i'd gone crazy when i told them i would be walking from johannesburg to kwazulu natal guys you have to buy this buy this okay bye, -bye. there's a long list covered by N or nihss for book recommendations oh yes 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 and thanks for all that sample reading you did last year it helped me collect a few books awesome thank you Humozo. ah thank you so much i appreciate that um and guys please go to scene a go buy books 27 randa like a lot of people actually whatsapp me after i shared that books were 27 rand at books at scene a this week until tomorrow tomorrow no the second but probably everything is gone by now so yeah bye i have to go I said I'm going to go five minutes ago. Mwah. Mwah, mwah, mwah.